Range Rover customers don't buy a Range Rover just to go from A to B. Like they don't buy a, a luxury watch just to tell them the time. They have to have that emotional connection with the product. And Range Rover achieves that on three different levels. You know, the familiarity of the vehicle, it's been around for a long time. It does something that no other vehicle can do. That breadth of capability that the vehicle has. And of course, it's a beautiful object to look at. The floating roof on the vehicle is now much more clean, much more flush, giving a, a real 360 degree feel to the glass house on the vehicle. And the waistline position is very key to achieving the right kind of visibility when you're inside the car, and then when you're outside the car, achieving that right sense of strength and of balance. There is an obvious lineage there from first generation of 1970, right up to the new Range Rover. That lineage is very clear in some of the design elements. But of course, that DNA has to evolve through time. The car has to be relevant for a new era. I think a car is the closest thing we'll ever create to a living thing. The seven characteristics of a living thing, they're all there in a vehicle, other than it can't reproduce itself. But maybe in the future, they will, you know, you never know. <laughs>